Hi guys, welcome to today's video. You guys, today I have this huge spread to share with you. I am so late in getting this swap out to um, my friend Ari and I am so excited to get it out to her. She sent me the most amazing swap and what I have here is 100% not enough compared to what she sent me. I even kept my package. I was going to send it out on Friday. Today's Sunday. I kept it so that uh, yesterday, Saturday, I could make a few more things. And I'm so happy that I kept it, but I just cannot wait to get this out to her. And I actually have things that I did not have a chance to make, but I'm like, no, like enough. I have to get this out to her. And so anyway, let's get started. The first thing I want to share with you is my card. It says, um, it's, it's supposed to be like Cupid's hotline. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. My uh, theme here is Cupid's desk, basically, like things you would find on Cupid's desk. <laughs> so I thought this was so cute. Um, and it's just a little retro uh, phone card. This is a free SVG from SVG Cuts. I think yeah SVG cuts and I just thought it was so cute I've had it for a while and I just think it's super cute so that's my card and then as far as store-bought goodies this right here I got for her oh I need to put a little sticker on here okay I'll do that in a minute because when she send me her package you guys it was wrapped in the cutest leopard print gift wrap paper so I just thought she would love this I saw this at Hobby Lobby and I was like I have to get it for her it's a little heart it's leopard print I thought she would absolutely love it um then I have these two bags right here look how cute these are they're little ziploc bags you guys I have been wearing these rings they don't even fit me they're like so big <laughs> But I have been, look at the this ginormous fake ring that I have on. I wash my hands a lot at work. So I tend to take off my rings and lose them. I've thrown them in the trash. I, so I can only wear fake jewelry, <laughs> basically. Um, but I have been obsessed with those fizz parties on TikTok, you guys. Oh my gosh, you don't even know. So yeah, be prepared to see a lot of fake gaudy rings on my hands so funny but I had to share that with you okay so let's move these things out of the way and so that I can have some room to share with you what I am sending Miss uh, Ariel okay so in here I'm not going to take this out because it was actually hard to stuff it in there but I've got three yarns and these are awesome for packaging gifts you know, to tie around your gifts and whatnot. So I thought it would be so fun to share these with her. So we've got this dark pink, a lighter pink, and a white. And these are from Dollar Tree. And then these cute little Ziploc bags are from, the reusable Ziploc bags. These are from Tuesday morning. And they came together like this. This one says sweet. And in here, I will take out what I have in here. I have a little strand of Hishi beads. It reminds me of those um, candy necklaces. So that's why I added that in. Um, I thought that would be really cute. And then we have this little strand of beads. Aren't those so cute? They look like little conversation hearts. And it says love on those. So I added those. And then these three little buttons. I thought these were really, really cute. You've got some hearts, some lips, and some roses. Perfect for Galentine's. And then I just added some um, shred in here to just hide all of that for me. And, you know, so it can be somewhat of a surprise when she's opening it up. And then I just have these together with a bulldog clip. Oh, I forgot to put this in there. This is going to go in the back. Now, Miss Ariel spoiled me tremendously, you guys. I'm not going to shut it right now. I'm just going to add this little bulldog clip with a tassel to it. 
so that's that. Um, next up, we have this one right here. So you guys, I ran out of paper and I got on scrapbook.com. The two papers that I absolutely loved were sold out. <laughs> The ones that I used. I had so many design team projects that I worked on that I ran out. And I don't have a large Valentine's stash. So anyway, I saw this Doodlebug one. I've never crafted with Doodlebug. Um, but I saw it and I grabbed it and ran. It's a collection kit. I don't even remember what it's called. Um, I'll add it in the description of the video. Um, and I just ordered one collection kit. What was I thinking? I have no idea. But anyway, this is... It's, it's really adorable. It's super cute. It says, just a note. And like I said, I've never used Doodlebug before, so I don't know if this is a new collection, an old collection. I have no idea. But I wish I would have ordered more because I definitely did not have enough for everything. So in here are just a pack of beads from Hobby Lobby. And then here... Um, I just added, it says, you're just my type, because again, we're going with a desk office theme, right? So it says, you're just my type, and in here I have a fun little die set for her. And then here, I have this baggie right here, I ironed on this little heart. On here, I just have a little conversation heart and a um, lolly charm super cute right really cute and simple I had thought of adding this on here and I literally picked this up so I could add it on this bag because I hauled a whole bunch of these bags from Amazon you guys so I have like 20 of them <laughs> or more um so anyway I'd picked these up they're they're stickers but then I thought no I'm just gonna send it together and she can add it to whatever she wants to add it to and then in here I don't remember what I have probably just oh some paper clips and some stickers some more paper clips and some more stickers so that is what is in here ah, and then I'm thinking I'm gonna like tie these together maybe um, since I didn't wrap this or maybe I'll wrap it we'll see because I'm not done wrapping everything I wanted to show you though before I start wrapping because you know how once you start wrapping you tend to not take pictures and not record so this is an adorable cup that i picked up at claire's you guys i picked up some house shoes for my mother-in-law for myself for my daughter a blanket this cup some socks like all of these things were like a dollar 25 and originally it says 14.99 this cup like why would you pay 14 dollars for this but it is so stinking cute. And inside, I just added some Hershey's Kisses. I'm not even going to open it. I can't open it. <laughs> Look, it's just Hershey's Kisses in there. I thought that would be fun. Um, I added a whole bag in there for her. And I love this straw, the color. It's just adorable. She can use it to store some stuff on her desk. Or she can use it to, you know, drink some water. Stay hydrated. I got these there also. I think I got these at Claire's. Um, they're called Bear Hugs Wild Cherry Strawberry Gummies, Strawberry Banana Gummies, and then these are Sweetheart Pretzels. So I am so happy that I got her some sweet treats for Valentine's because what's a Valentine's without sweet treats, you guys? Well, I'm going to leave this for last. Okay. Then I have these right here, which are ribbons i believe i got her some ribbons from hobby lobby i can't remember but isn't this so cute i used that walmart tablecloth wrapped it and then just layered some of that doodle bug paper on here and i just think it is so adorable it looks like a little candy for her another sweet treat okay and then i have this pokey tool right here you just slide this off and here's my pokey tool still with that sweet treat theme um, from that swap that Roxy and I hosted. Um, so I have the little, a little piece of strawberry cake here and then just some red and pink um, beads. This is what it looks like. Super cute, right? And I just created this little box. This is a KS Craft die. And I added the word sweethearts down here and just a little cluster. So 
so that goes in there. I added sweethearts to everything, you guys. Because, I mean, of course you're going to find a sweetheart pokey tool on Cupid's desk, right? Okay, and then this right here, I don't know what I have on my desk. But it's like, I'm scared I'm going to get these things dirty. I don't know if it's like marker or what. But anyway, look at these right here. You guys, I've been adding these sunnies to everything. Look at this. And the cute thing about these is that they are made out of paper, you guys. Aren't they so sweet? So I just made a whole bunch for her. I picked up this paper pad from Michaels. It comes with all of these colors, the yellows, the pinks, um, and this like red color. I just fell in love with these. So I used that paper pad to create these little sunnies for her. And I added her name and alpha beads. I think that is so cute. It says, you are my favorite, Ariel. And Ariel, you just spoiled me so much, friend, that, oh my gosh, I hope that you feel, I hope that you love this as much as I love you. <laughs> because it is, it, your swap was just amazing. And I have no words. I have no words. It was just, I felt so spoiled and so, like, loved. It was insane. So, this is one of the items that I worked on this weekend. This was a true labor of love. <laughs> I created this little trinket box for her. So, Ariel has a shop, you guys, and she sells a lot of beads and dangles and charms and cabochons and bows and things like that. So, it's hard to gift her, or at least in my mind, it was hard to come up with things to gift her and to spoil her with. And I thought this would be so cute. So instead of an embellishment box with like beads and charms and dinkles, I created this little love letters box for her. This is a box from Daiso. I absolutely love it. Char Crane was the one that introduced me to this box. I first saw her use it. Um, and I just think they are adorable. They're perfect for little embellishment boxes. So I um, stitched on some chipboard. It says love letters. And then inside you open it and it says hello sunshine. And these little hearts are from the glasses that I made her. I kept those little hearts, did some stitching on them. And then I cut out all of these alphabets for her. And she can mix and match them because they look really cute when you mix and match the colors. But then you can also just use one solid color. So this is a die set from Scrap Diva Designs. It's called the uh, Mini Heart Alpha and Number die set. Super cute, right? I love it. Okay, and so this is where we get into the good stuff, you guys. These, these things here are just little extras. I don't know how I'm going to fit them in the box because I create large items. I have learned that about myself this past few months um i cannot i when i got ari's mail it was so packed you guys and i was like how did she fit all of that in here because originally this is what i had for her and these are ginormous so nothing fits with this you know this is an extra thing that i created and then the letters and then this box. Yeah, everything else I already had. So I have this adorable typewriter, this adorable vintage phone, and this Cupid's Quiver, which was inspired by her. So let's start with the mailbox. So this is a little mailbox that I received in some happy mail. It says, you've been struck by Cupid. I think I received this from Miss Geneva. And so you open it up and I, again, I used that paper pad from Michaels and I created these adorable bows. Look at these bows. Aren't they so cute? This is the heart bow die from um, KS Craft. It's, I think it's a heart double bow die. So super cute. And the thing is that, you know, in these colors, it's adorable. I don't want to take them out because it was so hard to line them up. <laughs> But that is what is going to go in here. And I just love these colors. It matches my little paper collection so well. So that's the little bow that I have on here as well. 
except that on hers I actually did stitching with gold thread so I have that for her then I have this little vintage telephone this is an SVG file I think it's my craft chick or my scrap chick I don't know I'll, I'll try to link it if you guys uh, want this SVG. I loved the fact that it was easy to put together and it you I could just stick these little socks in here for her. Just like that. Isn't that so cute? I love it. I love this collection. It's so happy and fun and just full of love. So, so cute. This is my Cupid's Quiver. This was 100% inspired by her. She created a little mini one. For Tony for a swap that Roxy and I hosted and I was like I have to recreate that so I made one for her it's got these um, charms and bead dangles all around it I made this little arrow in here it's got these wavy flags um, from scrap diva designs I have some dry ice at the bottom that foam and I stuck them in there to try to keep it in place and yeah, they are just so cute. So look at that one, love this. These little hearts right here, heart picks I received from Genova also. And I just love them, Genova, so much. They're like little stir sticks, okay? So that's my quiver. And then you guys, look at this. Look at this beauty. So this is a little typewriter gift box. It says, hello, darling. Let me zoom out just a little bit if I can. There you go. Look at this gorgeousness. I have these gorgeous flowers. I added a little gold foam ball in the center. I have some more flowers here. I have Cupid's glasses, you guys, because of course that's what his glasses would look like, right? It says, hello, darling. The little gift box opens up and inside it is full of flowers. <laughs> Look at those gorgeous flowers. Some of them have the little gold balls. Some of them are just rolled flowers, but she will be able to use these for spring for sure. Or if she wants to wait for Valentine's next year, she will definitely be able to use these. So that is my little swap for her I mean nothing compared to what she spoiled me with but I hope that she absolutely loves this I cannot wait to get this to her it is a hundred percent full of love for her and yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know if there are any items that you would like me to do a tutorial on make sure to stop by her channel so you can get a full look of everything you know that she opens because there's a few things that I wasn't able to show you um, and yeah I will talk to you soon bye for now